Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth and I'm a medical intern here in India and welcome back to my channel for another vlog. In this vlog, I'm studying for the USMD Step 1 exam and I'm mainly going to focus on getting back on track after I took a mini break to relax a little bit and avoid burnout. So currently I'm just working on making a plan for my next week of study and uh, I just took a break of two days so that I can rest a little bit and come back stronger and be more productive. The way I'm planning my study is by looking at all the systems that are yet to be done and making a numbered list from the systems I don't know much about to the ones that I have some knowledge about. I start by looking at where I left off my study and which subtopics are yet to be finished. During this mini break, I continued to solve my U-World questions and Anki flashcards every day, so it wasn't really a true break. I'm going to save my true break for after the US Summary Step 1 exam, maybe. That took me quite a while to get a plan for my week and yeah I think I have a plan for the next week and I'm going to do my best to follow it and yeah that's it. And so it's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning and now I'm going to start doing some new world questions and then maybe move on to something from the first year and yeah that's it and now I start solving my new world questions for the day in my current phase of study I'm solving around 20 questions every day and reviewing them I solve them in all random mode and in tutor mode so that I can review the questions and topic right then and there. Also my first aid for the US Family Step 1 is open so that I can write the important takeaway points from the questions. I also use the notebook feature on New World but more about New World in a later video. So I finished my UI questions for the day and I didn't get enough sleep last night so I'm gonna take a nap right now and then uh, eat my lunch and then get back to studying. So I will see you guys then. And also I asked you guys a question on Instagram from UI and some of you have got it right and some of you don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna post the answer later on and uh, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram to see those UWorld questions. I don't usually take naps before lunch. It's usually the post lunch food coma when I take a little bit of nap. But since I was feeling sleepy, I decided to take a nap. And after lunch is when I'm having my cup of coffee and getting back to studying for the day. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of ASMR. Ok, 
Okay, and we're back. And now I'm going to focus on the CNS section from Patoma. And uh, yeah, just to complement the things that I studied from the first aid and boards and beyond. And yeah, that's it. So I opened my Patoma book and watched all the videos from the CNS section and I marked all the high yield information in the Pathoma book with my pink pen so that it stands out well. Pathoma is all about pathology and the video series highlights all the important material that is required for the USMLE Step 1 exam. Since pathology makes around 45-55% to 55 of the exam, it's a must-do resource. I started studying with all the developmental anomalies like anencephaly, spina bifida, Arnold Chiari malformation, Dandy Walker malformation, etc. It reminded me of the time I had spent on a neurosurgery elective at Bombay Hospital when I had watched a correction surgery of the Arnold Chiari malformation with a posterior fossa decompression. I continued with the spinal cord disorders, the different types of meningitis all the cerebrovascular diseases like stroke, transient ischemic attack and then I moved on to traumatic injuries which comprise of epidural and subdural hematoma and the different types of herniation of the brain. And so I'm done with the CNS section from Pathoma and uh, I'm going to give it another read in some time. I just give the CNS section of Pathoma a second read so that I can mark all the other important stuff which is beyond the high yield point and also so that I go through the information just once more before I do it in my active recall plan. So I'm done with this and I'm gonna take a short break because I think I'm getting tired and then I will be back uh, doing sketchy micro and sketchy pharma. I just sat in my balcony with a green tea and scrolled through Instagram a little bit and also follow me on Instagram at AccuMedSathart to see a little bit more about me. And then I'm back to studying, I revise the sketches from Sketchy Micro and Sketchy Farm so that I don't forget the loads of information that comes with each sketch. Sketchy Micro and Sketchy Farm has made remembering all these unique information about each and every microbe and drugs so easy by making a sketch and it acts as a pictorial memory and that's it for today I'm gonna close all my books and I'm gonna do some exercises and have dinner and that's it for this one I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one